I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. Hey you guys, welcome back. We're going to do a collective reading here for the rest of October going into November. This will be for all signs. So let's see what your messages are going forward. All right, let's take a look. Okay, you are starting with, ooh, a love call. So you will be ex expecting to receive a call from someone who will be expressing their love sending a message of love that they are thinking of you and letting you know very good okay let's take a look what else you also have paradise okay happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoying each other very good start Okay, and oh, <laughs> you've got the Grim Reaper. Hmm, a relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So it looks like something new is starting after something has officially ended. Okay, let's see if we can get more information going forward about this. Okay, let's take a look. And if you would like more spicier readings, you can go over to my OnlyFans. There is a link in the description box below where I upload weekly readings there. Okay, so you're starting with temperance. Okay, things seem to be going, or coming into balance for you, it looks like. Sagittarius energy. Um, yes, and I kind of feel like this is a, a message or an energy of like, things working out for you it's kind of like an out with the old in with the new um i see you being like pretty clear and direct and maybe really being curious about someone or someone being very curious about you going forward um you've done a lot of soul searching as well definitely and it looks like you've come into balance as far as like you're at peace with yourself um, with a past situation because that grim reaper energy pretty tough looks like you've grown from something you're transforming your life you've learned some lessons starting over definitely an energy of starting over and with the hermit it, that's kind of like you know you've gone in you've done the work you've taken your time really looked inward to see where you need where you needed to kind of like re-up your energies in certain areas even that page of swords is like you know kind of i don't feel like that's looking outward i feel like that's more of a search within analyzed a lot of things about yourself for sure um in regards to some kind of past relationship that ended okay and it looks like someone else probably has done the same which is good i think that's always the best course of action so now this is kind of like what else is on the horizon for you yeah that's kind of where i feel like you are right now you know you made peace with the past now it's looking forward now it's like okay what is out on the horizon which path can i take which direction do i want to go do i turn left do i want to turn right you're at a crossroads right now. I see that, and I think that's okay because you have choices. You have options for sure. So you will definitely be receiving some kind of message from someone. Um, you may get like that closure phone call coming up or someone just kind of reaches out and tells you how they feel or just expresses that they miss you or that they're thinking of you, and it might make you feel kind of good. Um does that mean that something is going to start up with someone? Not necessarily, because I kind of feel like you've made peace with that. And 
you're kind of like, well, that's kind of just the past. The past is in the past. You're not really starting. You're not. It doesn't look like you're giving something a second chance here. Um, you might consider it, but at least in this time period, it looks like you're just kind of like, well, maybe it's just nice to hear from someone, but maybe nothing more at this. It looks like at this point, you're still just kind of at peace with everything. Like it's, it is what it is. Okay. All right. So you do have the seven of pentacles. Yeah. So that is kind of a little bit of considering maybe a phone call from someone. <laughs> Um, this person that might want a second chance, maybe you'll just give it a little bit of thought. Um, kind of like, well, do you want to invest? Should you invest? It, it, this is kind of like rummaging through your mind or just kind of, you're a little hesitant, but maybe just kind of thinking it over a little. I definitely don't feel like you're going to jump. You may be curious to hear what somebody has to say. <clears throat> the fact that they're expressing how they feel sharing um, their feelings or telling you that they love you or that they're just thinking about you or just expressing their emotions towards you. Um, it might, you know, it, it might kind of like, I don't want to say, like at first I was hearing trigger, but I don't feel like it's that. I mean, there might be some feeling there. Um, I don't see you just kind of hearing that and then saying, oh, okay, let's just get back together. I don't feel like that's your response it, it looks more like your response is huh hmm i wonder what says you, you just kind of roll it roll it around in your head a little bit you know with the seven of pentacles like huh wonder what's going on there yeah and you've got the five of wands <laughs> it, it conflicts you a little bit it, i feel like it does um i mean you're at peace with any past kind of thing you know, um, it might conflict you a little. Oh boy, I guess they are kind of taking you down this road. Hmm, it might conflict you a little bit, you know? So it might be like, well, wait a minute. I thought I was at peace with this. I thought everything was okay. Wait a minute. Why am I feeling this way? I made peace with this the past. Uh, uh, I don't know. What's going on here? Okay, so... Hmm, maybe they gave me that word trigger for a minute. You've got some boundaries up here. There's a reason why you are saying no second chances. And there is a Grim Reaper. So maybe you view this person or the relationship in itself as like, er, dead end, er, not doing that again. I mean, look at this, nine of wands. Like, you might kind of be like, all right, here comes the emotions, but then it's like, oh, I got to put a stop on this. I don't, there's, th this person comes not only with the emotions, but also comes with a little bit of um, chaos or a little bit of competition or some, that five of wands energy is a little like banter that can be triggering. I have to protect myself. Yeah, there's a little, ooh, this is tough. I, this is kind of like that saying that, where people say, oh, I'm, you know, why am I so attracted to the crazy person? You know, like, oh, I can't help it. Like, they're, they're not good for me, but I'm so attracted. You know, like, they're crazy. And I always hear people, like, I always hear people say, um, I love it when a girl's crazy like that. But then I'm always like, yeah, until they're crazy on you, you know? <laughs> like, y'all, everybody's always, oh, yeah, that little girl that acts like that. She's like, gets me all twisted up. Yeah, until, yeah, she twists up everybody else. But then when she's twisting you up, then you're all like, oh, I can't stand it. She's making me nuts. Or, you know, you can reverse it. But it's just kind of like, that's the energy. I feel like whoever this person is, they get you in their in the feels a little bit here. Look at the Knight of Cups. They get you in the feels a little. And it's like, there's no way you're going to go return to this. There's just no way. They're, that Because you don't want this trickery. It feels like they're going to trick you with this love spell. You don't, you don't want to return this, but like at the same time, 
it's exciting and it's exhilarating and it's the banter and you know the unpredictability but at the same time you're vomiting at, <laughs> at, at other times it's like crazy and, you know so you're just you get away from it you're making peace your life is calm there isn't any of this crazy making and you can think straight and you don't have to play guessing games you don't know like you're you're fine and everything's just rational and normal but now you're bored and then this person who has this thing shows up in your life and you're drawn like a moth to a flame and so what the hell do you want that's that's what I this grim reaper <laughs> you know and it's like paradise. Did I even mention that card? I don't think I did. I did. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. There's times like that, you know, and then it also comes with this Grim Reaper energy where it's like, the relationship is over. I don't want to talk to you anymore. This is like, ugh. You know, and then or it's either words are spoken like that or it's a silent treatment and nobody's talking. And then it's like no second chances. And then I'm just, I'm, I'm moving away. I'm getting away. I'm going to grow. I'm going to change, you know. And then the call, then nobody's talking to each other. And then the calls start again. And then here comes, you know, the love call. And then here comes the romance. And then it's like you're, it's like it's a love-hate thing or something. Yeah, that's what I feel like this. Uh, so yeah and the two of cups and then the cycle continues yeah okay so that's the energy that i'm picking up you know this is just a snapshot of what i feel like is the time you're listening to this this is october 16th going through like the middle of november there will be talk you guys will talk or at least there will be your phone's going to be ringing or there'll be a text message alert and um this is trying to get in touch again kind of energy and it's like should i respond should i not should i talk to this person should i not I want to but i know if i do you know this where are the questions are going to start and then all this stuff is going to start here and should i do it should i not and then the back and forth and na 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 <laughs> uh, it's crazy it's a little cray cray Yes, it is. Uh, let me see. I just want to get a couple of cards because I kind of feel like there is some kind of magnetic thing going on um, that's kind of physical between you and this person. And I feel like um, that plays a huge role. Okay, I feel like this person is has a little bit of like they're a bit territorial and they kind of they do wonder if somebody else is keeping you happy and then they're just saying what will it take for you to sleep with me yeah okay so there's definitely a little competition here Okay, now you guys should go over to my OnlyFans because <laughs> there was definitely something going on there. <laughs> definitely. And then this might be resonating for you. Hold on to me. Oh, did I just hear? I meant to say hold on a minute, but I, the words just came out and said hold on to me. So I don't know if you've heard that before with this person, but I'm just hearing hold on to me. Or they just kind of came out. The anticipation is killing me. Okay. So there is definitely a longing going on here. Your body is so S-E-X-Y. I feel like, yeah. This, there's a um, little bit of yawn, uh, yawning. <laughs> you done? Oh, oh I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. You are my match. Okay. I mean, I feel like... There's definitely a push and pull. There's def It might be a little bit of a karmic kind of thing. Um, give me the green light and I'm on it. So I do feel like you and this person, um, it's a crazy making kind of thing. It really is. And there's this, damn, how did I start liking you so much? I don't really feel like this relationship was meant to go this way. It might have started as like maybe some kind of um, 
I don't know if it's like a hookup. It might have started in some kind of some type of way, and it's turned into something else. I don't know if it's love. I mean, it's definitely there's definitely feelings. There's definitely romantic feelings, affection for sure. I've never felt as attracted to anyone else as I am to you. I feel like this is a very strong message between you and or at least with this person. And I mean, there's definitely a desire and a longing here that cannot be denied. And I feel like, I feel like this person like right now, just as I'm making this reading <laughs> would be like a slave for you. I hear that old like Britney song. Do you remember that, that old Britney song? I love your mysterious ways. So every time you and this person are apart, the yearning and the longing get bigger and bigger. I really feel that way. And I just kind of get a sense that you guys come together and you can't stay together. You come together. The passion is so strong and you it burns up so fast and it's not meant to endure it's meant for you to like because I don't feel like you two like if you were actually together in everyday life it would just I don't think it's meant to be long term it feels like it's meant to be it could be long term if you guys aren't together every single day because the passion is so strong and so heavy um, passion is you can, is not enduring long term like a fire cannot burn forever it can't it, it it needs fuel to burn consistently and and for and eventually it runs out of fuel you know unless it's you know it, it does it just eventually it runs out of fuel at some point it, i mean like i'm not a scientist i mean the sun is eventually going to run out of fuel <laughs> eventually it, i don't think it's going to burn for infinity but you know what I mean? It's, you know, I just feel like you're not going to live forever. So none of us are. So at some point, I just feel like the passion is so strong that when you two to come come together, it's exhausting. <laughs> and you guys have to take breaks and get away from each other so that you can re replenish or refuel to come back together. You know what I mean? And, and that's why I feel like there's this have to get away from each other. Like, you might feel like it's because you get on each other's nerves or you're angry at each other, you hate each other. No, that's the ripping apart energy that has to happen so that you can refuel. It ha you have to be torn apart. <laughs> it's like you, it's like you're meant to be together, but you're not. I, I, I feel like, I don't know, I'm done with this reading. I'm done with this reading. It's just too crazy. It's just too crazy. I don't know what if there's a thing that this is called. I'm sure it is, but it's it's just very it's just very passionate in nature. That's it. That's it. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna leave that here. Hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. I'm a little bit under the weather, but if I am not, I you just there won't be a video. But I'll do my very best. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take I'll care. Bye. Only one. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the peace